It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Green King Brewery and it's a bottle of their XX Mild coming in at 3% ABV. I'm really intrigued by this beer. Uh, there's the bottle cap. There's 17.99, uh, which they date back to, which is, which is absolutely fantastic. I visited the brewery two years ago. I didn't try this beer. Maybe it's new to their stable of beers. I don't know, maybe it's been around a long time. Let me know in the comments box when this beer originated. Uh, without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. I gotta tell you the reason why I'm intrigued, but let me pour the beer and tell you what it looks like first. So as the clear glass bottle suggests, it's a Oh yeah, it's a dark, dark beer, two finger tan coloured head, uh, good levels of carbonation there, rolling up the side of the glass as you can see. It's, yeah, it, it most definitely looks like a dark mild. Uh, the reason why I'm so intrigued, oh, I'm the, I, it's cleared, it's been filtered. Um, so it's a clear beer, it's not bottle conditioned. But the reason why I'm so intrigued by this beer is it's 3% ABV, but they put a lot of, I can smell it from here. They put quite a bit of roasted malt in this beer. Uh, this beer, or this review is by no way or no means sponsored by Green King. They were kind enough to send me the beer. They sent me a Christmas package of beers and this one beer in the package is one that I haven't reviewed. Um, it will be an independent review. But I'm intrigued, well, because it's just something a little bit different. I can count on one hand the amount of milds that I've reviewed on the channel. Um, I think Bateman's do a mild, and a fantastic mild from Rudgate Brewery, their Ruby Mild, something like that, Ruby Mild. What a fantastic beer that is. So. I don't think I've had a traditional mild ale for for quite some time. So here it goes. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, lots of roasted malt. The the typical malts that Green King use in their beer are there as well. You get that kind of that caramel malty like almost kind of like cherry like aroma to the beer let's dive in cheers everyone just like that just like that, one mouthful. One mouthful of this beer, and I can safely say, this is the best beer I've had from Green King. I've had some of their really kind of strong Suffolk strong ales. Um, they're kind of one-offs. You, you're not gonna drink too much of them. They, I, I don't know, on the last count, I think it's something like 6.8, 7% ABV. So you're not gonna be able to tuck away some of them or too many of them. Um, there's a number of reasons why I, I would say, for me, me personally, this would be the beer that, that if I chose from Green King's staple of beers, I would choose this beer. And the reason for that is, I like to session beer. I like to visit family and friends and, and I like to sit in the garden in the summertime on an afternoon and, and just chill out with a few beers, some music playing. I like to drink four, five, six beers. On a, on a summer's day, really do. And although we're talking, it's the 30th of December, 2019, uh, I'll probably be posting this review in 2020. Um, different hairstyle and, and whatnot, probably from, <laughs> from the newer reviews. Um, but yeah, I like to session beer. And when I session beer, I like to session good tasting beer. This is a good tasting beer. There's lots of roasted malt. Very drinkable, very refreshing at 3% ABV. And you've got that classic kind of, it's almost like, 
a hybrid. You can taste a little bit of speckled hen in here, old speckled hen, uh, with that kind of almost like, like the sweet malt, the caramel malt coming through. And then I don't think I've had a stout. I've had a stout from Belhaven Brewery, but I don't think I've had a stout from Green King. With the roasted malt from the beer, this is going towards, yeah, not, not stout, but a mild. It's a classic mild. That's where we're going with this. A 3% ABV beer with loads of flavour that is not going to embarrass you too much. I'll tell you what I've been doing lately. I've been drinking some of these kind of strong, being winter. What was it? Oh, Christmas, just a few days ago. I had a full day session on Boxing Day. I was actually in the Ship Hotel, which is actually a Green King pub. I was in the Ship Hotel in Barry, 12 o'clock, Boxing Day, lunchtime. 12 o'clock, I was there banging on the door. It's, it's just part of a family tradition where we all get together, we all hit the pub. Uh, we found out that all of the football games were on Amazon Prime. Uh, so we googled up where the local pub was, which had Amazon Prime. New service, new new year, uh, new new thing for football was to put all the games on, on Amazon Prime. And the only pub in Barry that had it was the Ship Hotel. So we went on to the Ship Hotel till 12 o'clock, Tottenham versus Brighton, playing games at pool. Bob, 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 Pine, 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 Pine. And I finished off the night at about 10 o'clock. So 12 till 10, that's 10 hours drinking. I, finished, I cracked open an Imperial Stout at 10 o'clock in the night after going flat out all day. And I woke up in the morning, Mrs. Wadden talking to me. Um, you, you bloody, you know, and I, I finally got a talk. And she said, you, you just an, you're just an asshole. She said, last night, after that Imperial Stout, you were just an, an asshole. You really were. And it just gets you thinking. It, it gets you thinking. If you're going to session a beer all day, why not session something a little bit less in the ABV? If they had this in, in the Green King pub, this XX Mild at 3% ABV, maybe I would have been less of an asshole uh, at the end of the night. But we all make, we all make mistakes, don't we? But this is lovely. Loads and loads of flavour. Roasted malt, biscuit malt. It's not too hoppy. There's a little bit of bitterness on the back end. That could be either one or two things. That could be either the the roasted malt giving a little bit of bitterness, or they probably added a few hops to the beer to, to give a little bitterness. But this is something, yeah, something that you want to smash back all day. Just giving you my story. Um, this It's the perfect example of that, of, of a, a mild beer that you can session all day. I love a session beer. And it's the very reason why I gravitated towards this beer. In the, it's 10.15 in the morning. It's a mild beer. It's not going to affect me too much. I could probably still drive the car. Well, I know I could still drive the car. Right, let's see what the... How do you describe this beer? A mild brewed using dark malt to give a sweet and roasted flavour. Moderate bitterness. <coughs> Pardon me. With light underlying herbal hop character from the Goldings and English Copper Hops. English Copper Hops. Uh, easy to drink but also plenty of flavour. They've just, they've just summed it up themselves. Easy to drink, loads of flavour. 3% ABV. That's the future for me, if I want to, you know, be a decent person, yet drink all day. Uh, I like the beer enough, smells good, looks good, tastes good. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Give it, give it a try yourselves. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.